In linguistics, vowel length is the perceived duration of a vowel sound. Often the chronemi, or the «longness», acts like a consonant, and may have arisen from one etymologically, such as in Australian English. While not distinctive in most other dialects of English, vowel length is an important phonemic factor in many other languages, for instance in Arabic Finnish Fijian Kannada Japanese Old English Scottish Gaelic and Vietnamese it plays a phonetic role in the majority of dialects of British English and is said to be phonemic in a few other dialects, such as Australian English, South African English and New Zealand English. It also plays a lesser phonetic role in Cantonese, unlike other varieties of Chinese. Many languages do not distinguish vowel length phonemically. Those that do usually distinguish between short vowels and long vowels. A very few languages distinguish three phonemic vowel lengths, such as Luceno and Miha. However, some languages with two vowel lengths also have words in which long vowels appear adjacent to other short or long vowels of the same type, Japanese hu, phoenix, or ancient Greek tripolatos a, a acute, a dot twos, inviolable. Some languages that do not ordinarily have phonemic vowel length but permit vowel hiatus may similarly exhibit sequences of identical vowel phonemes that yield phonetically long vowels, such as Georgian gadvaleb, a dot a dot ad dot vil dot eb. You will facilitate it. Topic: <inaudible> Related features. Stress is often reinforced by allophonic vowel length, especially when it is lexical. For example, French long vowels are always in stressed syllables. Finnish, a language with two phonemic lengths, indicates the stress by adding allophonic length, which gives four distinctive lengths and five physical lengths, short and long stressed vowels, short and long unstressed vowels, and a half-long vowel, which is a short vowel found in a syllable immediately preceded by a stressed short vowel, I so. Among the languages with distinctive vowel length, there are some in which it may occur only in stressed syllables, such as in Alemannic German and Egyptian Arabic. In languages such as Czech, Finnish and Classical Latin, vowel length is distinctive also in unstressed syllables. In some languages, vowel length is sometimes better analyzed as a sequence of two identical vowels. In Finnic languages, such as Finnish, the simplest example follows from consonant gradation, haka han. In some cases, it is caused by a following chronemi, which is etymologically a consonant, ja, ice, proto-Uralic asterisk j. In non-initial syllables, it is ambiguous if long vowels are vowel clusters. Poems written in the Kalevala meter often syllabicate between the vowels, and an etymologically original intervocalic h is seen in that and some modern dialects, Taiwan versus Taiwan, of the sky. Morphological treatment of diphthongs is essentially similar to long vowels. Some old Finnish long vowels have developed into diphthongs, but successive layers of borrowing have introduced the same long vowels again so the diphthong and the long vowel now again contrast nuoti musical note versus noti diplomatic note In Japanese most long vowels are the results of the phonetic change of diphthongs o and o became o u became u e u became yo and now a is becoming e the change also occurred after the loss of intervocalic phoneme h. For example, modern Kyoto Kyoto has undergone a shift Kyoto KJO2. Another example is shown in boy soon SJO ni o ni. Topic: Phonemic vowel length. Many languages make a phonemic distinction between long and short vowels – Arabic, Sanskrit, Japanese, Biblical Hebrew, Finnish, Hungarian, Kannada, etc. Long vowels may or may not be analyzed as separate phonemes. In Latin and Hungarian, long vowels are analyzed as separate phonemes from short vowels, which doubles the number of vowel phonemes. Vowel length contrasts with more than two phonemic levels are rare, and several hypothesized cases of three-level vowel length can be analyzed without postulating this typologically unusual configuration. Estonian has three distinctive lengths, but the third is suprasegmental, as it has developed from the allophonic variation caused by now-deleted grammatical markers. For example, half-long in sada comes from the agglutination asterisk sada plus ka sen plus imperative. 
and the overlong a in sada comes from asterisk sa plus ta get plus infinitive as for languages that have three lengths independent of vowel quality or syllable structure these include dinka miha yavapai and wichita an example from miha is po guava po spider po not in Dinka the longest vowels are three moras long, and so are best analyzed as over long, o, etc. Four way distinctions have been claimed, but these are actually long short distinctions on adjacent syllables. For example, in Kikumba, there is ko .ko .na, ko acute o acute ma, ko, oma, natanubane, a, a, hit, dry, bite. We have chosen for everyone and are still choosing. Vowel length in English The vowels of received pronunciation are commonly divided into short and long phonemes. The short vowels are as in kit, as in foot, as in dress, as in strut, a, as in trap, as in lot, and as in the first syllable of ago and in the second of sofa. The long vowels are i, as in fleece, u, as in goose, as in nurse, as in north and thought, and as in father and start. While a different degree of length is present, there are also differences in the quality lax versus tense of these vowels. In general American, only tenseness is usually distinguished and vowels are transcribed without the length mark. Allophonic <laughs> vowel length In most varieties of English, for instance received pronunciation and general American, there is allophonic variation in vowel length. Vowels are shortened before fortis consonants but have full length in all other contexts, i.e., word finally, before lenus consonants, and before nasals and l. The process is known as prefortis clipping. Thus the vowel in bad, bod, is of normal length but the vowel in bat, bat, is shortened. The clipping effect can result in phonologically long vowels becoming shorter than phonologically short vowels when they occur in pre-fortis position. Topic: <laughs> Contrastive vowel length. In Australian English, there is contrastive vowel length in closed syllables between long and short e a a, and sometimes the following can be minimal pairs of length for many speakers. topic long and short vowels in orthography in english orthography letters representing vowels in words of the form cvc and cvce are traditionally called long and short a vowel letter is called long if it's pronounced the same as in the letter's name and short otherwise this is commonly used for educational purposes when teaching children how to read, however, this system does not cover all vowels of English and the terminology is not linguistic. In phonetic transcription, long vowels may be marked with a macron, for example, a may be used to transcribe IPA, E. This is sometimes used in dictionaries, most notably in Merriam Webster. See pronunciation respelling for English for more. The phonetic values of long and Short vowels are represented in the table below. Topic <inaudible> Origin. Vowel length may often be traced to assimilation. In Australian English, the second element of a diphthong e has assimilated to the preceding vowel, giving the pronunciation of bed as bd, creating a contrast with the short vowel in bed bed. Another common source is the vocalization of a consonant such as the voiced velar fricative, or voiced palatal fricative, e.g. Finnish illative case, or even an approximant, as the English r". A historically important example is the laryngeal theory, which states that long vowels in the Indo-European languages were formed from short vowels, followed by any one of the several laryngeal sounds of Proto-Indo-European conventionally written h1, h2 and h3. When a laryngeal sound followed a vowel, it was later lost in most Indo-European languages, and the preceding vowel became long. However, Proto-Indo-European had long vowels of other origins as well, usually as the result of older sound changes, such as Zemmerani's law and Stang's law. 
Vowel length may also have arisen as an allophonic quality of a single vowel phoneme, which may have then become split in two phonemes. For example, the Australian English phoneme ash was created by the incomplete application of a rule extending a before certain voiced consonants, a phenomenon known as the bad lad split. An alternative pathway to the phonemization of allophonic vowel length is the shift of a vowel of a formerly different quality to become the short counterpart of a vowel pair. That too is exemplified by Australian English, whose contrast between a as in duck and a as in dark was brought about by a lowering of the earlier. Estonian, a Finnic language, has a rare phenomenon in which allophonic length variation has become phonemic after the deletion of the suffixes causing the allophony. Estonian had already inherited two vowel lengths from Proto-Finnic, but a third one was then introduced. For example, the Finnic imperative marker asterisk k caused the preceding vowels to be articulated shorter. After the deletion of the marker, the allophonic length became phonemic, as shown in the example above. Notations in the Latin alphabet IPA In the International Phonetic Alphabet the sign not a colon, but two triangles facing each other in an hourglass shape, Unicode U plus O2D0 is used for both vowel and consonant length. This may be doubled for an extra long sound, or the top half used to indicate a sound as half long. A breve is used to mark an extra short vowel or consonant. Estonian has a three-way phonemic contrast. Sada, sada to get over long. Sada, sada send long. Sada, sada hundred. Short, although not phonemic. The distinction can also be illustrated in certain accents of English. Bead by D, beat by T, bid BD, bit BT. Topic: Diacritics. Macron a, used to indicate a long vowel in Maori, Hawaiian, Samoan, Latvian and many transcription schemes, including romanizations for Sanskrit and Arabic, the Hepburn romanization for Japanese, and Yale for Korean. While not part of their standard orthography, the Macron is used as a teaching aid in modern Latin and ancient Greek textbooks. Macron is also used in modern official Cyrillic orthographies of some minority languages Mansi, Kildan Sami, Avenki. Breves are used to mark short vowels in several linguistic transcription systems, as well as in Vietnamese. Acute accent a, used to indicate a long vowel in Czech, Slovak, Old Norse, Hungarian, Irish, and pre-20th century transcriptions of Sanskrit, Arabic, etc. Circumflex a, used for example in Welsh. The circumflex is occasionally used as a surrogate for the macrons, particularly in Hawaiian and in the Kunreisha key romanization of Japanese, or in transcriptions of Old High German. In transcriptions of Middle High German, a system where inherited lengths are marked with the circumflex and new lengths with the macron is occasionally used. Grave accent a is used in Scottish Gaelic. Ogonic a, used in Lithuanian to indicate long vowels. Trema a, used in Aymara to indicate long vowels. Topic: <laughs> Additional letters. Vowel doubling, used consistently in Estonian, Finnish, Somali, Lombard and in closed syllables in Dutch. Example, Finnish tuli, tuli, wind versus tuli, tuli, fire. Estonian also has a rare, over long, vowel length but does not distinguish it from the normal long vowel in writing, as they are distinguishable by context, see the example below. Consonant doubling after short vowels is very common in Swedish and other Germanic languages, including English. The system is somewhat inconsistent, especially in loanwords, around consonant clusters and with word final nasal consonants. Examples, consistent use, bita, squared by ta, to change versus bita, squared bt a, tub and coma, squared coma, coma versus comma, squared came, to come, Inconsistent use, felt, flow, a field and cam, cam, a comb but the verb to comb is comma Classical Milanese orthography uses consonant doubling in closed short syllables, e.g., languag language and publg public. 
IE is used to mark the long i sound in German because of to the preservation and the generalization of a historic IE spelling, which originally represented the sound i. In Low German, a following e letter lengthens other vowels as well, e.g., in the name Qs, Qs. A following h is frequently used in German and older Swedish spelling, e.g., German zan tsan tooth. In Czech, the additional letter u is used for the long u sound, and the character is known as a krozik, e.g., kun, horse. It actually developed from the ligature, uo, which noted the diphthong, uo, until it shifted to, u. Other signs Apostrophe, used in Micmac, as evidenced by the name itself. This is the convention of the Listugudge orthography and a common substitution for the official acute accent of the Francis Smith orthography. Colon, commonly used as an approximation of the IPA phonetic transcription, and in a few orthographies based on the IPA. Interpunct, commonly used in non-IPA phonetic transcription, such as the Americanist system developed by linguists for transcribing the indigenous languages of the Americas. Example, Americanist to equals IPA to equals. Topic: No distinction. Equals. Some languages make no distinction in writing. This is particularly the case with ancient languages such as Latin and Old English. Modern edited texts often use macrons with long vowels, however. Australian English does not distinguish the vowels a from ash in spelling, with words like span or can having different pronunciations depending on meaning. <laughs> Notations in other writing systems In non-Latin writing systems, a variety of mechanisms have also evolved. In abjads derived from the Aramaic alphabet, notably Arabic and Hebrew, long vowels are written with consonant letters, mostly approximate consonant letters in a process called modern lectionis e.g. in modern Arabic the long vowel, a, is represented by the letter a aleph, the vowels, u, and, o, are represented by w wa, and the vowels, i, and, e, are represented by y, y while short vowels are typically omitted entirely. Most of these scripts also have optional diacritics that can be used to mark short vowels when needed. In South Asian Abuhidas, such as Devanagari or the Thai alphabet, there are different vowel signs for short and long vowels. Ancient Greek also had distinct vowel signs, but only for some long vowels. The vowel letters eta and omega originally represented long forms of the vowels represented by the letters epsilon, epsilon literally, bare e", and omicron, omicron literally, small o", by contrast with omega or large o. The other vowel letters of ancient Greek, alpha, alpha iota, iota and upsilon, upsilon could represent either short or long vowel phones. In the Japanese hiragana syllabary, long vowels are usually indicated by adding a vowel character after. For vowels, a, i, and, u, the corresponding independent vowel is added. Thus, a, okasen, mother, i, i, Niigata, city in northern Japan, usually shin -shi, in kanji u u r y u u u s u long dragon. The mid vowels e and o may be written with e e rare nisan z san nisan elder sister and o o uki u s u da ki uki big or with i i mayre mainly mayre command order and u u usama wang yang usama king depending on etymological, morphological, and historic grounds. Most long vowels in the katakana syllabary are written with a special bar symbol vertical in vertical writing, called a chun, as in mi ka mecca maker", instead of mecca mecca, mecca". However, some long vowels are written with additional vowel characters, as with hiragana, with the distinction being orthographically significant. In the Korean Hangul alphabet, vowel length is not distinguished in normal writing. Some dictionaries use a double dot, for example mu, daikon radish. In the classic Maya script, also based on syllabic characters, long vowels in monosyllabic roots were generally written with word final syllabic signs ending in the vowel i rather than an echo vowel. Hence, chalk, 
basket with a long vowel was written as cha kai compare chan sky with a short vowel written as cha na if the nucleus of the syllable was itself i however the word final vowel for indicating length was a zeke to count to honor to sanctify was written as tzi ka compare sits appetite written as cz